Hi there. This video we talk about the basics of filter and for those who are already using filter I would recommend that you please skip this video and go to the next video from the lecture series. For those who will be learning filter for the first time let's see how it works and why we may use it. Now let's talk about a data, data set which may span uh, over 100 rows in this case 250 rows plus. All hypothetical data let me tell you that and I have few client names which are in different cities of India so Kolkata, Gurgaon and Mumbai. Yeah, I love Mumbai's Vada Pao. If you ever happen to be there please feel free to gorge on those. Now uh, I will be talking about some hypothetical numbers which I've placed before each of these clients and their offices are in different location. Now let's say that I want to find out the list of clients who are based out of Calcutta. So how would I proceed and get the list quickly? First, I get to choose the data and to be able to do that, I will choose and cell and press Ctrl A. Now if you've watched our previous videos, you will be reminded by the fact that in case a blank exists in your data and if you press Ctrl A, it will not choose the data. So what we're going to do, we're going to place our cursor on the first cell, press Shift Ctrl right, Shift Ctrl down, Shift Ctrl down. In case it chooses some extra data, please press Shift Ctrl up arrow key. Now at this moment I want to go to the back to the header so I press Ctrl backspace key it takes me back to the header. Once the data has been chosen I will go to data tab and look for the icon which looks like a funnel. Now this is the filter button which I'm going to click on so I'm going to click on filter. Notice as soon as I do that the header now contains the drop down buttons. So now as per our previous question, if you want to look at the client names based out of Kolkata or maybe in this case maybe Bombay, I will choose that city. I go to city, I look for the checkbox which says Gurgaon or maybe Kolkata and I press OK. What you get is a refined list of all the names which are based out of Calcutta, which you can navigate using Ctrl down or Ctrl up or may scan through one at a time. Later in the series of lectures we'll talk about how do you add these numbers which are all based out of Calcutta. So that in the next video lecture series. At this moment if you want to apply another filter which says within Calcutta look I want to find out all the client names against whom the invoice amount is more than $100,000. So I go to this last button and then I go to number filters. Now you'll see variety of options which may say greater than, less than, equal to or between. At this moment I'm going to choose greater than and I'm going to write $100,000. Although no need to write the dollar part but still the number is going to work fine for us as I press OK. Notice this is a double refined list with the amount more than $100,000 and all clients based out of Calcutta. So what we learned was how to use filter in the very basic sense and how to apply filter on two different criteria. Or we can apply criteria based on even location. So just for testing purpose if I choose APJ house which means Kolkata client from APJ house and amount more than $100,000. We'll talk more about the filter applications in the upcoming lectures. Thank you for watching so far. See you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed our YouTube videos and I really, really appreciate that if you could subscribe to our videos which will also encourage me to give more such videos in the times to come and you can also watch some of our popular programs which have been liked by a lot of viewers. See you soon.